Hi there, this is Vadim from Online Training for Everyone. And in this video, I'll share with you how to pass a Corn Ferry Employment Assessment Test. The Corn Ferry Assessment Test, also known as Corn Ferry Talent Q Assessment, is a psychometric test used by organizations for evaluating candidates or assessing the performance and potential of employees. The test was developed to help companies make informed decisions regarding their talent selection and development. Make sure to watch this video from the beginning to end and, if necessary, multiple times until you have a good understanding of the questions and know how to solve them easily. If you would like to practice with the most recent questions for the assessment test, make sure to follow the links in the description and in comments of this video. And now, let's go ahead and get started to help you prepare. Very frequently, you might be presented with the question where you need to determine the relationship. This is one of these types of questions. You need to determine if CEO is to the company as choice A. Quarterback is to football. Choice B. Director is to a movie. Choice C. Conductor is to orchestra. Choice D. Pilot is to plane. Or choice E. Chef is to restaurant. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the right relationship. This is not an easy question, but keep in mind that you have a choice of pausing this video and maybe thinking about it for 10 to 20 seconds to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? Let me share with you my version of the answer, and obviously if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To understand the answer to this question, we need to understand who the CEO is. And the CEO, which stands for Chief Executive Officer, is responsible for making strategic decisions and overseeing the overall operations for the company. Knowing this information, let's build an analogy. CEO is to a company, is as a leader to the organization. In the next step, let's look at the choices we're presented with and build similar analogies. For example, quarterback is to football, is as a leader to the type of the sport. Choice B, director is to a movie, is as a leader to the final product of work. Choice C, conductor is to orchestra, is as a leader to the team. Choice D, pilot is to a plane, is similar to the leader of the machine. And last but not least, choice E, chef to the restaurant, is as a leader to the organization. As you can see, by eliminating the options that do not maintain the relationship, we found the correct pair of words that represent the correct analogy. Based on this information, the correct answer here is choice E. Chef is to restaurant. Did you come up with a different solution? Please make sure to post your answer, solution and rationale in comments. Here's an interesting cognitive abilities test question to see how well you can deal with abstract concepts. You are presented with three expressions. In each expression, there are shapes and numbers. The first expression is triangle plus triangle equals six. The second expression is circle plus circle plus circle equals 12. And the third expression is where you have triangle plus circle and you need to calculate the end result of this calculation. Once calculated, you need to select the answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, five. Choice B, seven. Choice C, nine. And last but not least, choice D, 11. Take a close look to see if you can complete the calculations. Are you ready? Let me share with you my version of the answer here. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I mentioned abstract reasoning concepts because you need to associate each shape with the number. For example, in the first expression, we have one triangle plus second triangle equals six. Both triangles are the same which means that the one triangle's number can be calculated and associated with number three. We can do similar math with the circles. Three circles equal 12, which means that one circle would be equal to four. So triangle equals three, circle equals to four, and triangle plus circle would be equal to seven. So the correct answer here is choice B, seven. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. There is no better question to boost your IQ and brain power. You're presented with three expressions and you need to find the missing item in the third expression. The first expression is B plus D equals F. The second expression is Z minus W equals C. And the third expression is D 
D multiplied by E equals missing item and you need to find and select the missing item out of four possible choices. Choice A, T, choice B, S, choice C, U, and last but not least, choice D, I. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the missing item. I'm going to give you a quick hint here. To solve this challenge, you need to know English alphabet, but it's one of the simplest alphabets available with only 26 letters. Are you ready? Let's move forward, so I'll share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve this challenge, you really need to have a good understanding of English alphabet. And not just the alphabet, but also analytically understand that you can assign a number for each letter of the alphabet. I already mentioned that there are 26 letters in English alphabet. And this is probably one of the first things you study when you study English. So the letters are would be A, B, C, D, and so on. And you can go forward and for each letter you can assign the number. For example, letter A will get associated with number one. Letter B will be associated with number two. C with three, D with four, E with five, and you can continue up to the letter Z, which would be associated with number 26. With this cross-reference, let's see if we can get a better conversion between letters and numbers. For example, expression B plus D equals F in reality, after conversion, would be 2 plus 4 equals 6, which makes mathematical sense. Let's look at the second one. Z minus W equals C would in reality be equal 26, which is the number associated with letter Z, minus 23, which is the number associated with letter W, which would be equal to 3. So the last expression, D multiplied by E, in reality would be equal 4 multiplied by 5, and would be equal to 20, which is associated with the letter T. So the correct answer here is choice A, T. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. Here's one of my favorite questions where you need to look at the image and calculate the missing number. You're presented with four triangles. One triangle in the middle is larger than the others and it has number three inside. There are three other triangles at the tips of the big triangle. The numbers inside those smaller triangles, if we start with the bottom right triangle, are five, nine, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 13. Choice B, 15. Choice C, 17. And last but not least, choice D, 21. Take a close look to see if you can complete the calculations and make the right choice. Did you figure it out? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If you are a frequent visitor to this channel, you know the rule. And the rule is to complete the calculations and solve the challenge, you need to understand the pattern. And the pattern here is very simple. It's a counterclockwise navigations when you do the calculations. You start with the smallest number 3, and then calculate number 5, calculate number 9, and then calculate the missing number. In this pattern, to calculate the next number in the sequence, you need to double the previous number and subtract 1. Let's look at the example. The first number is 3. To calculate the next number, we need to add 3 plus 3, then subtract 1, and the end result of this is 5. Let's go to the next number. 5 plus 5 minus 1 equals 9. That's how we got the number on top in the small triangle. And now let's calculate the missing number. 9 plus 9 minus 1 equals 17. So the correct answer here is choice C, 17. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your rationale and solution in comments. Here's one of those types of questions where if you are a frequent viewer in this channel or maybe even a subscriber, you will be able to solve easily. You're presented with three patterns, 1 by 2 plus 3, 2 multiplied by 3 plus 4, 3 multiplied by 4 plus 5, and then comes the missing pattern you need to detect and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 3 by 5 plus 4. Choice B, 4 by 5 plus 6. Choice C, 1 by 3 plus 4. And last but not least, choice D, 5 multiplied by 2 plus 3. Take a close look to see if you can detect the pattern. Are you ready? 
The key is not to overthink this problem. And to detect the pattern, you need to look at the number in the left column. If you look closely, you will see that the numbers in the left column are 1, 2, and 3, which means that the next number in the sequence should be number 4. If you look closely, you will see that the numbers in expression increment by 1 with each math operation, so that the number in the final expression would be 4 multiplied by 5 plus 6, which matches the choice B. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer, solution, and rationale in comments. Here's an amazing question to test your spatial reasoning. You're presented with the three-dimensional view, and you need to select view from the opposite side out of four possible choices. The choices are A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can select the right solution. Please look closely, as it may not be as easy as it seems. Are you ready? Because I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And if you have a better way to solve it, obviously, please make sure to post in comments. If your answer to this question was choice C, you answered it correctly. There are four objects on the original three-dimensional image. We have a duck, we have a basketball, we have a smartphone, and we have a hammer, which is barely noticeable on the original picture. And the easiest way to solve this challenge is to select one object and track it on the opposite side. I selected a duck, but you can as well select a hammer or a smartphone. It is a little bit harder with the ball because it's in the middle and it's a symmetrical object. So let's go back to the duck. If you look at the original image, you see that the duck is looking to the left and it is on the left side of the ball, which means that if we look from the opposite side, the duck will be looking to the right and would be on the right side of the ball. We frequently see these types of questions on the test, so to help you solve these types of challenges, here are the views of these objects from a different sides. Take a look at these objects from the right, from the left side, and take a look at this set of objects when duck and the ball have changed the position. I wanted to ask you, did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments as well as you can supplement it with some tips on how to solve these types of challenges. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website how to analyze data.net to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.